listen, I decided that Dave had to do a little work because he came on this trip to skin the sheep. The only purpose I'm here is to take care of the hide and help glass. I sat on my butt while Anthony and those guys hiked in 58 <laughs> miles and I out 58 miles. I had a very difficult job of watching through the binoculars. But See, today my work begins. His work begins today and then many other days after this. But <laughs> he came on this sheep hunt to skin the sheep for me so that nobody would mess it up. Number one. Number two, he came on the sheep hunt to glass for me. He, uh, I think two days ago, he left his glass. He lost his tripod head, so he had no glass. And yesterday... It vibrated off that, <laughs> off my tripod because that road was so rough. And then yesterday, he just sat back and hung out with all the old timers and shot the shit while me and Chad and Andrew went up the mountain and uh, hey, when your AARP card shows up in the mail, then you get to sit <laughs> back in glass while the young guys pump it. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, I wish I would. he would have been out there. He would have had a blast. Not a blast coming in or out, but he would have had a blast just to be there on that once in a lifetime shot. Dave, you're amazing. I love you. And I love everybody that was on this trip with me. You guys all made this happen. It wasn't a one stop shop. It took a team and uh, I'm grateful for it. I love you guys all. Thank you. Let's get to work. I'm here with Dave Mayer and he's about to cape out the rest of my sheep. Dave, go right ahead, buddy. I, I just want you to know, I don't only do tax derby for friends and this is the last one I'm ever doing. <laughs> this is it. Cause all I spend all my time is doing stuff for everyone else. I want to get out and hunt. Someday maybe I can get a lifetime tag like Anthony did. So uh, yeah, don't call me and ask me if I can do anything for you. So uh, there's a very, 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 very small group of people I, uh, I do this for. So, all right, <clears throat> so I'm gonna teach Anthony how to cape so I don't have to do this anymore so he can do it. And he can do my sheep when I get mine here in a couple of years. All right, you ready? I'm ready, man, thank so you. Anthony wants to do a full life size so they skinned it out on the side of the mountain and uh, they just left me the uh, caping it. So we've, I've already made all the measurements uh, for the form to buy. So now I'm just gonna start skinning. So Anthony, if you wanna watch. I'm ready. All right. <coughs> <coughs> And we're not sponsored by the block by any means. But if you guys want to give me a free block, I'll take one. Or, and I'll take free Havilon knives. <laughs> this is the only knife I'm actually afraid of. This thing's so freaking sharp. Anyone that has one knows what I'm talking about. They're awesome. All right, you ready? Hold on. All right. Look so at those bases. Oh, they're huge. No, they did the Y cut. This huge pad here this is why they can fight and have huge concussions and not uh, get knocked out they got these huge pads this absorbs the shock when they fight back here probably my glasses on because I can't see I'll go get your glasses I don't want you screwing it up <laughs> oops oh Thing off. So I'm not going to bore you doing this thing because that's going to take a little bit. So we'll check back in once I get the hide peeled off around the top of the head and I start doing the eye and the face. That's the critical part. <coughs> Dave, how much stuff? How, how much have we gotten off this sheep? So oh, far? I just got the just in the side here. Not going to come around the bases. In the back.
All right, so now we've worked around the base of the right side. Now I'm gonna show how you get the ear off with that damn So you can zoom in here, I think. So the ear is right here. I kind of put my finger in his ear canal so I have a sense of where I am. I just wanna come down here, slowly separate the hide. You wanna keep as much stuff muscle and fat and everything off the high as you can. Alright, so I'm pulling the high away. Now here's his ear. So I know the base of his ears right here. So if you want to come in and video here, you'll see the where I'm going to cut the ear canal. So here's a cartilage. I can feel it right here. So his ear goes into his head right here. So there's his ear. It's right here. And you can see that right there. That's the inside of his ear. So now I'm going to cut through right straight across that, his ear canal. Careful not to cut through the hide. Just take your time. What I like to do is I put my hand on there and I pull up. So my finger is right where the hide connects to the head. So I, I can feel where I'm pulling it. So I don't cut through that. And now there, the ear is now separated from the head, and that's his ear canal, and that's his ear on the hide. And then you just gotta cut through the meat here to get to the other side. You just to take your time when you're doing it, you don't wanna cut through the hide there. I always like to put my finger on the other side so I can feel how thick the hide is, so I, I can feel where I'm cutting. All right, when I get to the eye, we'll start recording again. I'll show you how to do that. All right, so now we got around the base of the horn, and I'm going to show you how you do the eye. So I take my index finger and I stick it, if you bring the camera over here, I stick my finger right inside his eye, right here. I grab it and I pull back, and now I know where my finger is in relationship to the corner of the eye. Some guys, you know, they'll skin it, they'll keep it out, they'll cut right there on the eye, and that's hard to repair because the hair is so short. So I come around the base of the horn and I'm pulling the hide up as I'm cutting. And I'm cutting up, not down through the hair. If you cut down through the hair, you'll actually, instead of cutting a hole in the hide, you'll cut the hair. And then when you go to mount it, it's like a bad haircut. You can't put hair back, that's gone. So you actually have, if there's the hair is cut like that, then you're actually better off just cutting a hole a seam and then cutting, removing that hair that's missing and then make a patch and sew the other skin back together. Alright, so I gotta work my way around the base of the horn. Once I get to the eye, uh, we'll record it again. That'll take me about 10 minutes. Alright, so now we're gonna uh, keep the eyeball off. So if Anthony, bring the camera right over the top so you can see here. Matter of fact, if you like stand over here. All right, so I've got it pulled away from the horn. The corner of his eye is right here. I'm going to put my finger in the corner of his eye. I've got my thumb on one side. You might want to, now for this part, you can come around this way. I've got my finger back there, so I know where the hide is, and I can feel his eye socket. His eye socket's like right here. So this is the corner of his eye right here. So I'm gonna start pulling, I'm gonna take my time. All right, here's the edge of his eye socket. I got my finger in his in his eye, so I'm pulling. And I, because my finger's back there, I can feel how thick the hide is. So I know I'm not cutting through the hide. This is the top of his eye socket here. All 
Now this is the this is the scary part. So I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of translucent right here. And you can see his eyeball through here, his eyes right back. So I'm gonna stick my finger inside here, I'm gonna pull, and then I'm gonna to cut to the back of the eye. You can see the back of his eye socket right here. And I'm gonna cut through the inside of his eyelid. And you can see if I pull it there. Now I am through, my finger is through the corner of his eye. Uh, see, I didn't cut, I didn't do any cuts to the eyelid. I got my finger through it, so now I can pull. So I got that anchored, and you can see his eye right there. Here's the top of his eye socket. And I just work my way really carefully. And I'm constantly pulling with my fingers up against that eye socket. Right here, the horn comes down, takes like a 90 degree angle, so that's kind of uh, hard to get. All right. So now if you look here, Anthony, you can see there's his, the inside of his eye and his eyelashes. There's his eye. I'm going to work my way down to the corner of his eye. And it's attached right there at the corner of his eye really tight. So you got to get in there really carefully. If you move over just a little bit, you're right in light. Yeah. So now, there's a little spot. You can feel a bump right here. You can see my finger kind of go over it. That's where it's connected really good. So I got to get my knife in there. And there's not a lot of playroom. So I got the, the skin right around the eye is kind of jello. It moves around a lot, except for that one spot where it's connected to the corner. So his horn curls right there, right where I need my knife. So I'm pulling again with my index finger through that eye socket. I've got my finger between the hair and the, and the skull so I can feel where I'm cutting. And there I just cut through where it was attached to the front of the skull. And it's right, and let me see, it's right there you can see it's connected. It's like the, the, the tear duct right here. And you gotta get right, right up next to it. And here's this tear duct going right here. And you can see how it goes down. And then come back up to the top. I need to give myself a little more room. Gotta be really careful up around where it's at the base because that hair is really short. And you don't, as you can see, I'm cutting up again. Right at the base of that horn. I'm almost around the front of it. Give myself a little more room here. And it's, it's connected really good. And when I get that cape off, I'm sure there's a white line you'll see where it's connected. Again, I'm, I'm pulling this way to separate. And now I've got my blade up underneath the horn just to not cut any of the hair. And we almost have it off right here. Uh, I got to I gotta cut down this way, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the hair back and I'm going to my finger, push all that hair out of the way, and I'm just going to cut really close to the horn, and nothing but skin. don't like cutting this way, because you can cut that hair, but sometimes you got to. Alright, I'm almost through. And just take your time. It's going to be on the wall forever. Don't want to rush it. There we go. And now I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to pull it off his forehead. And you can see how easy this comes off. Alright. See, now you see you got the. I think your finger's over the camera lens. So now the eye's completely done. 
there's not a mark. If you come around here, Anthony, there's not a mark on that eye. It's all perfect. So if you know, take it to your tax intermister. He doesn't have to do any repair work. All this in here is hard to repair because that hair is so short. All right. So I'll get the other side, and when I go to do the nose and the mouth, we'll check back right. in. So my cameraman stepped away for a little bit, but we got the inside of the mouth done. Just a corner of the mouth. They kind of do that just like the eye. Just put your finger inside the mouth. Now I'm going to skin the face off. So what I like to do is peel that back, and then if you come over here, Anthony, just open the mouth, and I just take the blade of the knife, and you can see where it connects to the jaw. I just run it. I cut it right down the jaw. And again, I got my finger on the back side so I know where the fur is. And I, I separate it from the, the gum line. If your dentist were here, he'd say you might feel a little bit of pressure right here. This is my favorite dentist line. You might feel a little pressure. That translates to, this is gonna hurt. So that's, I got the bottom chin. And now I come up here and I do the same for the top. I just pull that back and I take the knife and I run it right down the gum line. Mr. Sheep, you might feel a little pressure here. Come across the top. Same on the other side. Now the sheep cartilage, their nose, it's the same thing for deer, bear, sheep, everything. That cartilage connects right to the front here. So I come up the bone, the, you can feel the, the skull. I just come up the side of that. And then what I do is right here in the front, I can come around this side, over my shoulder, they can see it. So there's his nose there. And his skull, if you've seen a European mount, you know how the skull kind of works. So I just cut right through here and you'll see the nostrils right here. I'm about ready to cut through. And there's the inside of the nostrils that I just cut through. Oop. And that's, you can, I don't know if you can, I think you can see that, but you can see the inside of the nostrils right there. And I'm just going to cut that way. So I like to start from the, fr the front of the face first and get that done. So now I got it all separate front and now I'm gonna flip it around. Oop, I'm fall over and I'm gonna pull that hide and I'm just gonna skin the hide down from the front now. So if you come over here, Anthony. <clears throat> I'm just gonna work my way. Okay, get this so I can video and you can see it the same, so I can see what I'm doing, and you guys can see what I'm doing at the same time. All right, Anyways, there we go. All right, so again, I'm gonna just pull that hide away. I got my finger up inside the mouth here, and I'm just gonna start skinning. Just pulling, taking my time. The corner of his ridge, his nose comes right here. Hey, before uh, you finish that off, why don't you tell everybody how to measure the nose and the eye that you did earlier? Uh, well, what I do is I take a measurement, I take calipers, <coughs> and I measure from the corner of the eye to the tip of the nose with the calipers. And that way your your tax members will know. 99% of the time you take your game to the tax members, they're gonna do the same thing. But what I do is I measure from the corner of the eye here to the tip of the nose. And that gives you the face length. So when you mount it, you know you're getting all the proportions correct. And on Anthony's, it's exactly eight inches. And, and then what I, about the eyes? And then I take, I go from width, and his is uh, six and a half from eyeball to eyeball. And with that measurement and this measurement, I'll know what size form to get. And when I mount it up, I'll know if I need to cut the form down and, and shape it. So every bighorn sheep is a little unique in their bruises and their, their nose are all slightly different. So, you want to take those measurements and some guys even will take what they call a death, a death mask where they're actually like do plaster paris on the on the face and take a mask of it um, but i don't do that so some guys do that so i mean i don't do taxidermy as a business i just 
it's a hobby I do. And so, you know, it just, there's, there's no reason for me to do that. So I take my time. All right, so now you can see the inside of the nose here. I'm gonna come back on the bottom of the jaw. I'm gonna skin that. And once I get the bottom separated, it'll give me more room for the top of the face. Here's the inside you can see. And since I came from the front of the face, it should, once I get up to the front here, it'll peel right off. And now it's, it's off the front of the jaw. So now we're just connected to the top. I think the key to this is you know you pull and you'll see where the tension is on the hide and that's where you want to cut. And it really helps to know the anatomy of the game that you're skinning so you know where you are, the bone structure. And up here I'm cutting through the nose. So the nose comes up and kind of comes up like this. So I'm just going to follow the base of the nose inside the nostrils. And then got my fingers inside the nostrils now. I'm cutting that cartilage. And I'm pulling back so I'm not cutting the skin. And there's the top of the nose. So we're just connected just by the very tippy top right here. Top and get it and down from the top. We'll be done. Ready, Anthony, you almost got a cape. About three seconds. Oh, I gotta finish it, man. I'm sorry. One. You can't wait, don't cut it. I gotta cut it. I gotta I gotta do the last man. Uh, I gotta make believe do it? I did it, man. Alright, hang on. Get it as close as possible. So I don't screw it up. I gotta have the last bit you of it. You need want the last little cut? Yeah. All right. We're gonna switch hands. Thank you, Dave. We'll keep videoing while he does it. We'll, don't don't stop. No, we gotta stop it. Here. Well, I didn't want to touch it with my bloody hands. All right, we got Anthony. And just cut right here. We're gonna pull that hide as tight as you can get it. Okay. And cut straight down right there. You gotta get me. You gotta get me full right now. Go ahead. No, get me full. Look. I got. I got to show that I did one All little right. cut to this whole thing. Everybody else has helped. I've been like sitting back and enjoying the the ride. I guess. All right, let me get it on. All Video. Right, here we go. Here we go. There you oh, go. Oh, I did it! It's done. All right, let's see I'm, it. I'm glad that I, I skinned the whole sheep, man. He did. Let's see. Hold that life-size cape up there you go let's turn around so you're got the light behind it. there it is hold that hold your skull up before he falls on the ground <coughs> you want to see the holes that Dave's got to fix there's three holes yeah we don't want to see holes Holes equals hours of sewing. All right. Set that hide on the block and hold that skull up. There it is. Let me get some pictures. Get some good ones. Let's ready? Do it right by the mesquite. All right. Are you ready? Are you happy with your skin job? Oh man. All right. All right. Dave is flushing, turning, 
turning, fleshing, everything on the on the hide, and I'm just I have the easy work taking out the eyeballs out of the out of the head, and uh, hopefully we'll have this done before nine o'clock because I gotta go to work. Yeah. All right, Dave, what are you doing right now? This is the the fun part of shoot hunting. Yeah. Go ahead, explain what you're doing right now. I'm getting all the meat off so we can salt it, so I can send it to the tannery, so we can mount it. Yesterday was the fun hard work, today is the not so fun hard work. Oh, I don't know which one I would take, I'd take yesterday over today. Yeah, this, is, the, this is just what has to get done to make a memory. Oh, the memories are there. Dave, how much salt did you use on this one? So far? Maybe about 45 pounds. No, <laughs> dude, we've used like not even 10 pounds of salt yet. Maybe eight. This was the other bucket. This is like the bit, all the, the other buckets totally full. I didn't use that one. Oh, yeah, you used the small one? Yeah. All right. So now we're salting the hide. And he's really specific about this, that we have to get every crevice. Every nook and cranny. You gotta fold out the skin as much as possible before you put it inside. Am I correct? Yes. Yeah, uh, to have to buy a bighorn sheep life-size hide, I don't even know if you could buy one. But it would be like $20,000. $20, right you think so? Oh, 20 grand? Oh gosh, I can't even imagine how much a big horn sheep cape hide. The whole hide? I can't. I don't even know if that would be freaking available. Oh. We're good.